Hey, what up everybody? Uh, this is Stevie Breach coming to you today. We're going to be chit-chatting a little bit about Monday Night Raw throughout the day. But uh, tonight, after Monday Night Raw, they're going to be airing a Dusty Rhodes special on the WWE Network. I'm not sure how long it's going to be, whether it's going to be 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. I know that after Monday Night Raw, they're also going to be debuting uh, their new Jackass show. So uh, I don't think that the Dusty special is going to be as long as it should be. But uh, this is this is something new that they put together uh, last uh, few days. Um, we've been watching the uh, sort of uh, package that they put together for Dusty Rhodes, sort of like the music video of his career. And uh, it should be uh, longer and better than that. But, um, you know, Dusty Rhodes should be given almost everything in the world for how great of a wrestler and how much he meant to professional wrestling. So, honestly, I'm really looking forward to it. I know that tonight on Monday Night Raw, they're going to be doing more tributes to Dusty Rhodes. And I'm hoping uh, that Cody Rhodes and Dustin Rhodes, Goldust, will both be a part of the show somehow. I I'm hoping that... Uh, they will be able to be a part of it, even though that there's a lot going on in the family, uh, knowing that they're going to be putting together, you know, a funeral and everything like that. But, uh, you know, Cody, who is star still a part of the uh, the main roster as Stardust, Goldust, who is injured, I believe he had, uh, I think it was shoulder surgery a few weeks ago. Um, I'm hoping that they'll be a part of the show and they can, you know, sort of fix um, Cody Rhodes' career. Um, for the last few uh, few months, I've been looking for any way um, for uh, Cody Rhodes to get a win and uh, be doing something in WWE as Stardust, but uh, it seems that almost everything halted uh, for the Stardust character when um, the fast lane match happened and it didn't get over the way that they were really hoping it to. They were really hoping that the Rhodes brothers would be able to have their WrestleMania classic. You know, Goldust has been tweeting for this match, trying to get support for it for almost three years now. And uh, they finally got a match on the WWE pay-per-view and um, Goldust ended up getting the win in the match. But, uh, you know, they didn't really even... It seemed like there was more that was going to be coming from this. And, you know, the whole storyline was that, uh, you know, Goldust was just trying to get Cody, his, bro his brother, back. They had gone too far into the uh, Stardust and Goldust tag team gimmick where they were doing the promos. Um, I, I thought that they just got locked into a, ro a room and they were just doing blow all night long. But, um, you know, you know, it was almost like Stardust killed off Cody and, you know, Goldust was trying to pull Cody back out of Stardust. Now, I don't want them to go full-fledged Rey Mysterio and Eddie here, but uh, this, is, this is a great chance for WWE to grab a hold of Cody Rhodes and, and put him back into the limelight. When they did the whole thing where Cody stood up to the authority, telling Randy that he didn't need Triple H, and Triple H fired him, and then they brought Goldust back on Monday Night Raw, and then that brought up the um, you know Goldust and Cody versus the Shield match at Battleground. Um, I believe that was two years ago. Um, I was really thinking that this was going to be getting some momentum under Cody Rhodes and he was going to be able to show that he was more of a wrestler um, than they really made him out to be. He had a great run with the tag team titles, uh, Go uh, Goldust, and, uh, and Cody won the titles once, Goldust and Stardust won the titles once, but uh, you know when they end up throwing out uh, the WrestleMania match of Goldust versus Stardust, Stardust ended up getting a spot in the... Um, I was going to call it Money in the Bank, but I guess it was just the ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship match at WrestleMania 31. And um, since then, you know, he was a part of the pre-show a couple a couple of months ago um, in an unadvertised uh, match. I think he was he did it two pay-per-views in a row, unadvertised on the pre-show, uh, a.k.a. you're not really doing anything. Cody is a damn good wrestler. Um, I, you know, he had his run with this tag team with him and Bob Holly. He had his run with him and his tag team and Ted DiBiase. Then they, they joined up with Legacy. Legacy ended up splitting up. And honestly, I thought that was going to be the death of Cody Rhodes. I remember WrestleMania 26 weekend when I was doing my prediction videos and just talking with people at WrestleMania 26. I was saying Cody Rhodes has to win this match or he's more than likely not even going to be a part of the WWE roster come WrestleMania 27. I didn't think he was going to make it a year on his own without basically WWE saying that they really didn't have anything for him. He didn't have the size of Randy or of uh, Ted DiBiase. I didn't think that he really had the charisma or you know anything of these other guys. I thought, I thought that Ted DiBiase was just going to be a huge, huge star and that never paid off. Uh, for what they thought it was going to be. Uh, you know, Cody's still a part of the main roster. Ted DiBiase is, 
I don't know what he's doing. I guess he's just sitting at home. He's always said that he'll come back to wrestling someday um, if he feels he needs to, but I guess he doesn't. Maybe he made enough money and he's got another job and he sort of left that behind him. Uh, I don't know um, what, if you, if you read the, um, if you read Goldust's book, um, he, he took the gimmick of Goldust um, because Vince pitched it to him and he thought it was a good idea, but he also took it a little bit because he didn't think that he could live up to Dusty Rhodes's um, you know, footsteps. He didn't think that he was going to be able to surpass what his, his father has, has done. And you can see a lot with uh, WWE, you know, like uh, you've got um, uh, Curtis Axel, who is Mr. Perfect. Um, you know, his last name is Henning, but they don't use it. Um, they, they used uh, Michael McGillicuddy for a while, and that was a little bit surprising. And a lot of these second generation wrestlers, besides for Randy Orton, they come up to the main roster and they give them a new name because they don't want them sort of having to live behind, you know, their father's footsteps. Even though that every time they're in the damn ring, Michael Cole, JBL, Jerry Lawler, all of them will always make a reference to, you know, this is Mr. Perfect's kid. So he always has to. You might as well just keep the name on him. So I don't know if Stardust is wrestling as Stardust. I, I don't know if Cody Rhodes is wrestling as this as a way to disguise himself, uh, that he's not going to live up to what um, uh, to what, what Dusty was. Honestly, in my mind, Goldust is, is a legend of the business. Dustin Runnels had a damn good career. And, um, you know, he did everything from, you know, WCW, WWE, WWF, uh, you even had that run in TNA as Black Rain that nobody wants to remember. But, um, you know, people really like him, and he really did get a lot of respect, and he does have a spot in wrestling history. I think that Cody is is better than Dustin, and I think that, you know, Cody's been around for a good long time in, in WWE, WWF, and he's been a part of the, uh, the main roster, but I think that he definitely has a lot more to give back. And he's one of those guys that WWE is losing out on because they don't have that World Heavyweight Championship belt. Yeah, I know with only one belt, Cody Rhodes more than likely is not going to be in the main picture for the WWE Championship. But that secondary title, which is more than the Intercontinental, which is more than the U.S., you know, it would be a damn good role to put Cody Rhodes in to see how big of a star this guy really could be. Um, you know, if, if they get him out of the stardust and he becomes a guy that just competes for the Intercontinental, just competes for the United States Championship, I'm fine with that. I really like Cody Rhodes. And um, like I said, I, I don't want them to go full-fledged. Um, you know, I'm wrestling for my father because, you know, his father passed away and he did a show the world what the Rhodes family uh, means to wrestling and, uh, you know, all of this, that, and the other. I'm not looking for that. I'm just looking for the guy to come out as Cody Rhodes once again and start wrestling, show how good he is. You think about that Stardust versus John Cena open challenge that was a few weeks ago. That was a damn good match. And I think there's more of that to come from Cody Rhodes as Cody Rhodes instead of wrestling as Stardust. I'm just hoping that he gets to emerge as that tonight or in the foreseeable future.